Our cover story tonight is from Israel. What we are about to show you now is beyond shocking. This is a highway near the town of Gan Yavne. It's close to the city of Tel Aviv. And what you just saw was a rocket. It struck an intersection. It narrowly missed the vehicles on the road. Israel says Palestinians fired around 50 rockets from the Gaza Strip. One of the rockets landed on this highway. This was after an Israeli airstrike killed the commander of an armed group called Islamic Jihad. This is the second largest militant group in Gaza. America has classified Islamic Jihad as a terrorist group. The Israeli strike is said to have killed Abu al Atta. He was a senior commander of Islamic Jihad. A bus driver caught this missile strike, this rocket strike in Israel on his camera. Take a look at what he saw. <laughs> As I said, this is beyond shocking. Israel is retaliating. The Israeli Defense Forces said that their Iron Dome aerial defense system intercepted around 20 rockets. Schools and businesses across southern Israel have been closed. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appeared before the media and he said that the fighting could go on for a while. <laughs> Whoever thinks that they can hit our citizens and evade our long arm is wrong. We have proven that we can hit surgically wherever the terrorists hide. Whoever harms us, we will harm them. This could take time. What is needed is stamina and a cool head. We need to allow the IDF to do the work. At a time when tensions between Israel and Palestine have peaked again, there is a terror threat against Israelis here in India. A report has now claimed that Jewish institutions and Israeli tourists are under threat. They could be targeted by groups like the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda in India. Reports say Indian intelligence services have issued a warning to Israel and both sides are working closely. Security at leading Jewish institutions in India has been stepped up. A report also claims that a synagogue in South India and specific areas with high concentration of Israelis in northern and western India face this threat. What triggered this, you may ask? Israel's strong support to India on Kashmir, especially after Article 370 granting special status to Jammu and Kashmir, was scrapped.